everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's video. And this is what we might refer to as an early video. And you say, Tom, what is an early video? Do you do it early in the morning? Do you do it early in the evening? What does early actually mean? And I say, listen, what it really means is this car here has just arrived. What I love about this car is the restoration has been done and we can add and do some things to it that maybe make it exactly the way you want. I'm gonna walk around, show you some things you can do to it. This is an A-code uh, fastback, so it can be converted into a GT fastback, knowing that uh, only the GTs came with the A-code or K-code engine. So it fits already in that realm there. It has some nice features on it that we forget to ask about. I'm gonna point out those as well, and some luxury upgrades as we get a little older. I just use we as in me, maybe not you so much, but as we get older, we like to have those kinds of things. All right, so uh, I'm looking forward to this one, and let's get started. All right, so what I love about a car that I refer to as early, early in its arrival here, is that you could have a hand in making it your own. What do I mean by that? Okay, let me explain to you what I mean by that. So for instance, right here, this has uh, white wall tires on it. We could put uh, either the red lines on it, which would look fabulous. We could do white letters like BF Goodrich radial TAs, which would look fabulous, okay? We also would put the stripe at the bottom down here. You'll see hundreds and hundreds of Mustangs on our site that we do that with. It looks really nice. We can do the black stripe that matches the interior or we could do a white stripe because white always looks so great on these cars. Second, we could finish the GT package with this right here. Uh, my personal assistant, Mr. Steele here is helping me out. This grill right here is blank, right? And then we would install this, okay? As well as uh, the driving lights that would go there too. Once we get inside, I'll show you a couple other GT upgrades we can do. We can put the GT badges on the side if you want or leave it just the way it is. We could also leave the car exactly the way it is, just like it is, and you can enjoy it just the way it is, all right? So that's just a couple of the exterior modifications we could do. Ask us about that. It doesn't cost a ton of money to do those things and it makes a little difference on the way it looks when it goes down the road. All right, lastly, uh, okay. Lastly, we're gonna do paint. I get so excited, there's so much stuff to talk about. Uh, this is Rangoon Red, all right? So it's uh, not only uh, amazing under these lights, it's actually even better outside. I like to show the quality of paint in here because video shows us what pictures cannot. People can manipulate pictures and things like that. Video can't be done that way. It allows us to show you what you're really getting. I really like to do that. So make sure if you're thinking about, about going outside the safety of the circle of Flemings that you ask those people to do these kinds of things. You wanna see things that are crisp, like everything crisp. If someone's filming it, it has to be like super crisp, like you can see the direct reflection of everything in that video. Not that you can see them in the video, but that it's super crisp. The crisper it is, the better quality of the paint. So come on up here, and here's a perfect example of being able to read every letter in the paint, right? Nice and crisp. This right here you could refer to as mirror finish because it's mirroring itself onto the paint. Uh, you can put your watch in here, you can see yourself in the paint, you can see the ceiling uh, in the paint. And I suggest people when they're looking at paint to not look at just the paint, look at the things in the paint. For instance, the lights from the ceiling, the ribs and the metal roof that are in there, you can see all of those nice and clear. So for many of our clients, the underhood is nice, but it's not really something that they're focused on. They just want a cool car to drive that runs well, looks good, and what have you. And I don't blame you. That's a, that's a great thing to have, too. Other people might want to use this for a show. They might want to go to a show. I want to show you a little before and a little after of what's happening. This is a little bit before we get into our thing, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So not everybody does this. If you're buying a car at a consignment shop, they're putting a little spray wax on it, and that's it, man. That is it. That's all you're getting, right? Here... All right, we're doing a 120 point inspection on this car. We're checking brake hoses, brake lines, shocks, coil springs, uh, leaks, front suspension, gauges, turn signals, that goes on and on and on. In this case here, right, we've already started out with a nice engine compartment with air conditioning. So this has modernized air conditioning and heat in it, which is really nice to have. I know as we get a little older, that's a fun thing to have. 
But here's where we come into play. So for instance, this has a Cobra dress up package. We're gonna put the oval air cleaner on here, which will give it that great looking piece here. We put the battery topper on it to make it look like an old school battery. We paint this black. We put a new washer bag on here. Uh, and then we paint all of the details of the engine itself, right? Depending on the year, determines the color of the engine. 65s are black engines, 66s are blue engines, right? We want that to be consistent so that if you want to go to a car show, you open up the hood, it looks really nice, and what's not to like. Lastly, this engine here makes a lot more power than the original factory engine, so it goes down the road really, really nicely. We have uh, horns here, we have dual horns, you can see the new wiring and things like that, so we know the car has been restored, you can see the new wiring back in there. Other thing people say, well Tone, so it has horns, who cares, right? I mean to tell you, you'll care. Many of these cars we get, have no horns. And I don't understand how people are driving around in a cool car like this with no horn. So the good news is you'll have horns, those kinds of things, uh, when you get it. All right, so an expensive part of the GT package has already been done, right? Not all these cars came with dual exhausts and things like that. If we're talking about uh, uh, A-code cars, yes, they have dual exhausts and GTs, dual exhausts, but this has the GT trumpet exhaust and rear valance panel set up because the other ones would have dumped just before that and there'd be no holes here. Reverse lights down here are new, chrome is new, gas cap, bezels, taillights, screws, like all of this stuff's been restored. And when you look through this car from behind, it's awesome because the back seat folds down, right? You say, Tony, oh, the back seat folds down? Yes, it's like an SUV. I'm kidding. Anyway, my point is that it was a functional car. And then you can also, because some people wanted a two-seater kind of sports car. And then if we had some friends we needed to take or the kids wanted to go with us or whatever, we flip the seat back up, everybody can go. And then you may or may not, and this might not be important to you, is if you went to a car show, they would like you to open the trunk and the hood to show it off. And this is done nicely in here. We have the correct tartan mat in here. We have a spare tire and jack. And you might say, well, Tone, doesn't every car have a spare tire jack? And the answer is no. No, so few cars have it. This one does, which is really nice. Um, the prop rod is adjusted properly to hold the trunk lid up. It has the jacking instructions in here. It's like the little detail stuff because people say to me all the time, hey, Tone, that's a great looking car, but we don't really know why it's a great looking car. And it's these kind of detail stuff here uh, that makes it look really nice because today's modern car isn't going to have a tartan mat and a tartan uh, spare tire cover. It just kind of takes us back to a different time. All right, so you're walking up to your cool car, and I say to you, you know what? I consider this car a therapy car. And you say, Tone, how, what, what exactly is a therapy car? Well, here's what I say. You're walking up to this car, and obviously this is a great-looking car. You're walking up to your car, and it's 4 o'clock on a Friday, and you're like, I'm so done with work. I'm going to get in my cool car, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, before I get into that, wow, listen to that. That's nice, man. When it pops open in your hand like that, somebody put a lot of time into that door. What do I mean by that? You get in your car, you call whoever it is that you're on the way, and you shut off the, the noise. The noise from, from boss text to social feeds to Facebook this and, and text messages and email and all of that noise coming in, man. And you start streaming some music to the radio that you have. You click this thing down into gear. You flip on the AC if you want to. And man, it is a game changer, right? You got this beautiful black bucket seat interior. And I'd like to point out how this uh, back seat folds down. Look how nice this is here. We're able to show that. Okay, that does all of that the way it's supposed to. It's so easy to get in the back there to take some people with you. This has this nice custom console in here. Uh, the air conditioning system here is beautifully done under the dash instead of the big giant box unit that you would have a factory one would have been. Uh, this has a modernized stereo in it. We can also put a digital sound system and hide it in the glove box. That way you can stream all your music and things like that. Some people like to put a stock like original radio right in there. Um, and then this is nice because it has all the gauges, right? It's not just uh, uh, some warning lights that many of the other cars came with. We got fuel, obviously, but we got oil, we got amp and temp. And the last little upgrade you can do, uh, if you want to here, is they have this uh, the dual pods there, uh, the rally pack, which would give you a tachometer and the clock in there. It looks really nice. So anyway, super nice interiors installed, right, redone, uh, uh, all black, a new door panels, new headliner, new carpets, new floor mats, new console, new steering wheel, new dash. And like, that's why cars cost money, because uh, if you want to get a really nice car, it costs money and that's what you get here. 
All right, so we close up this video. We talked about a lot of cool stuff today, right? We talked about some upgrades that you could make to the car to make it your own, which I think is awesome. But we're already starting out with a great car, right? We're already starting with an A code, so original four barrel car. We're already starting out with a Rangoon red car with a black interior, so we already know it looks good. And we're starting out with a fastback, which is a whole nother level of Mustangs, right? In the world of Mustangs, you know, they built uh, 500,000 plus uh, cars that year, but very few fastbacks and very few convertibles. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of those cars were the coupes. And that's why the coupes don't have the same value as these cars here because there's a lot less of them and there's even less of them now, right? 50 years later and 60 years later. All right. Anyway, thanks so much for uh, watching the video. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, call us at 301-816-1000. 301-816-1000. And we'll tell you all about this, uh, I think, pretty amazing Mustang Fastback. And if you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. That helps us get the message out. I appreciate that. Uh, share it with your friends. They might like that as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll put new content out all the time. I'll see you on the next one.